So it's just been reported that the Miami Heat are going to bring in Gordon Hayward as a plan B type of move if the other moves that they're interested in do not really work out. Have that be, you know, bringing in Kevin Durant or Donovan Mitchell. Now, I was sitting here thinking about Gordon Hayward on the Miami Heat, if that makes sense whatsoever. And to be quite honest, I can't really find the fit for him on the team. Now, for him to be get traded for, you're probably looking at somebody like a Duncan Robinson, maybe a draft pick, and I would even say Omar Yurtsevin, as I think he's going to be a very talented center of the NBA, and the type of player that maybe the Charlotte Hornets would be interested in bringing along, just because he would have the opportunity to play a bit more over there, there as opposed to you know, kind of being at the end of the bench for a team trying to contend like the Miami Heat. But Goran Hayward going over to the Miami Heat in general, I mean, I look at what exactly the squad even needs, and you look at the guard position, they're pretty much locked up there with Tyler Hero and Max Struess. You know, the small forward position is locked down by Jimmy Butler. Now, you know, maybe this day and age, Goran Hayward comes off the bench for the team or something like that, because he's definitely had struggles with injuries in the past. Uh, maybe you do something like run Jimmy Butler at the four spot with Goran Hayward at the three or vice versa. But even that defensively speaking, not really a huge fan of. Now, last season... Uh, Gordon Hayward on the Charlotte Hornets played 49 games, averaging 16 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists per game while shooting 39% from 3. So he definitely has rooms to uh, really go out there and help out a contender. It's just the fit is going to be a big, important aspect of it, too. So you guys let me know in the comment section below. Do you like the idea of Gordon Hayward being traded over to the Miami Heat? What do you think that trade is looking like? And uh, does it also make sense for the Charlotte Hornets? But beyond that, hope you guys are enjoying these NBA rumors, news, speculation types of videos. If you are, please hit that subscribe button as we're getting very close, man, to 300,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for watching and peace out, my friend.